Ladies and gentlemen, let's get one thing straight here. When it comes to the Champions League games, you know, Bayern, they just flat out have Barcelona's number. I mean, no other way to say it. What another masterclass performance today by Bayern Munich against Barcelona. Um, <clears throat> in my opinion, the best player today on the pitch, without a doubt, once again, was Jamal Musiala. And Jamal Musiala, once again, goes to show you why he is the best under-20 talent in the world. Seriously, I mean, I think that this game goes to show you here that what you can expect from Jamal Musiala at the World Cup is another masterclass too, because I feel like that for Germany for the inter on the international level, I think that the best player for Germany at this year's World Cup is without doubt going to be Jamal Musiala, especially after his uh, performance today. He was just flat out brilliant on the pitch. What else can I say about him? I mean... Bayern, so blessed to have him, you know, and Barcelona, first half, they did great, let's not kid ourselves, they had their fair share of uh, chances too in this game, in which they missed, uh, but uh, Lewandowski, you know, Bayern's defense, I think they did a hell of a job today, you know, for the most part, uh, Lewandowski, he did look dangerous at times, but for the most part, uh, Bayern, they were able to, um, to, I think, uh, effectively mark him and all that stuff but uh today man bar munich they just uh without a doubt whenever they play barcelona it almost feel, seems like that uh bayern will uh 100 win that game that's just the way how um <clears throat> the bayern and the barca matchups have been like these last like what uh four years in the champions league or the last four champions league games that bayern uh or the last five or six champions league games that bayern have uh, faced Barcelona in. That's what it is about, man. Uh, Bar Munich, uh, brilliant performance today, you know. And um, like I said before, ladies and gents, uh, Barcelona, they just had no chance today at all against Bayern. And Leroy Sané, he was absolutely superb on that second goal, you know, just a beautiful tap in right there, you know. And the run by him was just absolutely uh, incredible as well. <clears throat> but one thing I want to say too is that. Uh, when it comes to us playing in the uh, Champions League, I feel like that, uh, you know, both Sané and Gnabry should uh, play on either side of the wing because I don't know what happened with Sadio Mane, but, you know, Sadio Mane, I think he was the player on Bayern that underperformed the most today because, as you people know, Sané, I mean, Mane, excuse me, I am super excited that we have him on our team, but it just <clears throat> seems like that recently Mane has been kind of underperforming for Bayern, and I'm hoping that's going to change soon because Mane, he's still very crucial to this Bayern team, so I don't know what happened with Mane's underperformance in these last games, but regardless, uh... Just um, super excited to see Bayern get another impressive win right there. Even without Lewandowski, Bayern, they still have proven that they can beat Barcelona. It's it's just incredible, you know. And <clears throat> I just think to myself here that Barcelona, if they want to beat Bayern, they're going to have to... It's going to take a miracle for Barca to, be, to beat Bayern at this point. Sorry if I'm stuttering a bit, but I'm just so gassed up about this game, you know. Uh, I thought it was going to be another one of those back and forth games, but man, Bayern seems like they got another win here over Barca. So ladies and gents, let me know what you thought about Bayern's performance in the comment section below. But as for Barca, they uh, were really, I think, lackluster in terms of finishing today, if I'm being honest here. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Great win and let's go Bayern.